Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can use PowerShell script to install multiple Windows update on multiple remote computer. Okay, so our script is very simple where we are giving the server list and uh, Windows KB is list and uh, the script will do the installation one by one on multiple uh, on the multiple remote computer. So let me explain the script to you first. Okay, so we have created here servers variable and here we are giving the text file the list of computer in a text file format. Now here we have used GC like the gate content shortcut. Okay, and uh, we have used the complete path of this text file. So let me show you how many computers and how the computer we have added. Okay, so we have two computer here Moom server 1, 0, 1 and 0, 2. Okay, so this is our uh, computer list and here uh, in the second variable we have created as a folder variable and we have given the cable information that we are going to install on the remote computer. Now here we are using two cables. Okay, so let me show you the path. So uh, you have to mention this path. Okay, uh, on the local computer from where you are running the script. Okay, so what it will do? Uh, it will take that local KB or uh, local update file and it will try to uh, copy on the remote computer for the installation purpose okay so uh, I have taken the two KBs uh, 9182 and 9924 and both I have mentioned as a complete path here so you can add multiple KBs if you want you can just copy into the same folder okay or maybe any different folder but you have to uh, add the comma here and then double quote okay and you have to give the complete path okay with extension so the PowerShell can identify the file okay and it can copy on the remote computer now we have used for each loop okay why because we have a multiple computer name and uh, we have to run the command on each computer each time okay so we uh, we like all the server list has been stored in this servers variable and we are going to run each command on uh, on the one computer particular so we are using the for each loop dollar server in dollar servers okay and here the first step that we are doing is testing the path okay so the the, the computer the remote computer should be accessible and uh, there should be a win update folder now i have created or kept the name as a win update but you can change the name according to your need okay but uh, i would suggest to keep a separate folder okay or the unique folder name okay so it should not interact uh, or you know uh, you should not use any other folder uh, which the other users are using because at the end you can see here we are going to delete all the content from that folder so if you are copying the uh, the kbs on uh, any any other folder which is being used by the multiple users so uh, the script may delete all the files okay and you will have a loss okay so uh, do not use the same folder that other people are using use the unique folder now here in in this variable we are giving that okay uh, the path should be this 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 and you have to take the path now if the path exists okay so uh, the value will come as a true okay and it will say okay path exists and it will move further okay for the installation and if the folder is not present on a remote computer then it will try to create that folder okay so we are using new hyphen item item type as a directory and name as a win update okay so whenever you are changing this folder name for your requirement or according to your need you have to make sure that you are changing this name everywhere okay because this name is used everywhere for the installation for the copying file and so many things okay so make sure uh, you, whenever you are changing something on the script you change the word on each line okay so verify that wherever the word has been used and you can replace that folder with your name okay now uh, once it is created the folder directory with win update okay now it will move further what it is doing here so we are using the expand command okay so this is the complete command we have to use the as it is okay now here we have given the folders variable because it is containing two file okay and you like you can mention the multiple file as i told you but we are only doing the installation on two kbs now what it will do it will extract the content from this msu file okay so msu file is the microsoft update file which contain four file 
two cabinet file one text file and one uh, xml file i guess so i'll i'll show you that uh, once we extract this file on the report computer but uh, there is a two cap file but we only need one cap file that i'll explain you later okay once we start extraction of this msu file so we are not directly running the installation on msu we are extracting msu file on a remote computer we are getting the cabinet file we are getting two cabinet file from each msu but we are going to only use one which is starting with this name okay and that is only the important cabinet file the other cabinet file is just for the information and we don't want that as of now okay now uh, once you expand that so where it is expand uh, like ex uh, extracting the uh, content of this msu file it is on the remote computer c drive and win update folder that we had created in earlier step right so it is extracting all the content from msc on that folder and once all the content has been extracted on that folder it will run the invoke command okay now why uh, we have used the invoke command here because we want to identify how many cap file has been generated by that because uh, if you are installing only one then definitely there will be only one cap file right and uh, each msu extract two cabinet file right and we don't want the second one we just want the original one and the original one is always starting with the windows because it is a windows update file and another cap file we don't want for the installation so we are skipping that so we are applying a filter here if you see we have created a new variable and we are using the gate hyphen child item command to apply the filter and get only cap file which we required okay now we only require the cap file which have a actual installer for the windows update okay so if you see here i'm i have used the command gci uh, okay get child item uh, and then we have given the pass c drive win update folder and here we are saying okay windows the file should be starting with windows and end with the cap okay dot cap now you can see here asterisk sign right it means what the starting character should match with windows and then rest of the things can be anything and the extension should be dot cap okay so it will identify that file which is starting with windows then asterisk sign means the name rest of the name can be anything and then dot cap should be there okay so this is a complete command and here we are you know uh, we are expanding the properties of that cap file or whatever the file we have applied the filter okay so currently it is a cap file now we are expanding the property and we are selecting version info why we are selecting that because we want a complete path of that file why we need a complete path because we have to add that complete path here whenever we are running actual installation command so that time this dism tool need a complete path and you can see here there is a parameter we have added package path okay so this path should match with the complete path of that like the drive the folder and then the file name okay and then extension with the cap so when we are applying this uh, this version info we are getting that with the file name parameter okay now what we are doing again we are creating a new variable we are uh, taking this variable as output here okay we are again uh, applying the filter and we are selecting file name from version info okay and expand property again file name because we don't want a header into that okay we directly need a result so it will select a complete path of the cabinet file that is required for the windows patch installation and then it will keep that with this variable cap path okay now once we have the cap uh, path variable have all the result in array okay stored into it we are running for each loop okay on this path now why we are running for each loop because it have captured the multiple cap file now if you are only installing one it is fine but when you have a multiple cap file right how will you identify because every time you have to change the package path here right so that is the reason we are using the for each loop so whatever the data or the content has been stored in cap path okay there might be two cap file three four five n number of cap file so i want to run this uh, installation command on each cap file right so that is the reason we are segregating this uh, as a for each loop and then it will try to run the command on each cap file using this command let okay now we are here using the command prompt hyphen c hyphen c means run as administrator okay and then we are using the actual command dism online 
add package and then package path we have given as a variable because it is already captured the complete path here in this array right and then we are taking one by one value during each run and it is trying to install now here we have yield quite and no restart because I, I want that introduction to be silent and uh, no restart should happen okay unless I give the command uh, on that computer to reboot okay now uh, once it is done with installation it will it, it will wait for five seconds and then it will delete all the content from that folder okay uh, if you are using the you know the folder which is used by multiple users don't run this command okay comment it out so it will not delete anything and then you can separately delete the folder if you want so that is the reason i suggested you keep a separate folder unique folder okay which is not used by anyone and you can delete all the content once your installation has been done now let me run the script okay now on the first computer we can see here 10 updates are installed Okay, 10 item you can see here and on the second computer, 4 update are installed. 4, correct. Okay, on first computer 10 and on second computer 4 update. Okay, and you can see here uh, 9924 and 9182 is not installed here. So, let me run the script. And now you can see here it is started ex expanding the files on the remote computer and you can see here the folder was empty but now there are cabinet file, XML file, text file and the cabinet file again. So these three belong to one MSU, these three belong to one MSU. And this WSU scan is uh, you know by default file in each MSU so it will be only one because whenever it will export the msu file it will replace the file which is the older one okay now once you have done this let me show in a second computer okay it is not yet run once the installation is complete it will automatically delete all the content from this folder okay let's see here you can see here the script have stopped uh, like pause for installation, expanding file complete. Folder is empty. It means the KB installation has been completed. Now let me refresh the screen and you can see here 9182-9924 both KB is present and it is showing today's date. Okay. And you can see here 12 KBs have been installed. Now here as well. Okay. Let me see. Okay. This folder is empty. It means the installation is completed. Let me refresh. Earlier it was a 4 update. Now it should be 5 or 6 based on the KB installation. Now here you can see it is the count has changed to 5. It means only 1 KB got installed here. Currently installed update. Okay fine. Uh, it means uh, on the second computer only 1 KB installed and here you can see error. This is the error. Okay on a second computer the specified package is not applicable to this email. And that is the reason only one KB has been installed on second computer, but on a first computer, both KB is installed. Uh, there is a dependency on the, the second KB uh, due to which it is not installed on a second computer. So we have to identify that manually and we can uh, like remove that dependency. Okay, so this is the way uh, you can use this script to install multiple KBs on the remote computer. And if you have any doubt or query, you can put into the comment box. I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.